domestic violence case, a brother firing at his sister before taking his own life in front of other patrons. Como's Patrick Quinn joins us now live from the scene. And Patrick, you talked to witnesses who saw it all. I did, Michelle, and one woman called it focused chaos when in the parking lot here outside Arnie's restaurant, shots flew through the air, and just within the hour, the, the Snohomish County Medical Examiner removed the body of a 56-year-old man when a family dispute turned deadly. Along the scenic shore in Edmonds, just before noon, a tranquil Saturday was interrupted by tragedy. It's shaky. It's scary. Ashley Jones was at work upstairs when she heard two distinct gunshots. She and two nearby nurses ran down to the Arnie's parking lot where they found one man dead and a woman clutching a book by this blue SUV. She had been shot through the chest by a shotgun at close range but was holding a hardback book against her chest. The book was in pieces all over the car and she was obviously in shock, but really responsive. Witnesses say the man pulled the shotgun out of this guitar case. Police say he fired at his sister before shooting himself. These two appear at this moment to be brother and sister. Uh, they had met here uh, for some sort of family event. This is the second shooting in three weeks within a few blocks of here in Edmonds. We're on December 14th. A 23-year-old was shot and killed at a party at a nearby senior center. But police believe these two shootings along the Edmonds Bay are unrelated. These are in no way connected. The incident um, back on December 14th um, was a much different set of circumstances. This incident here today appears to be an act of domestic violence. And back here live, also inside the blue SUV, police say were the woman's husband and son. Now, you may notice on the ground here, uh, little sheets of paper. That's part of the book that the woman was holding in front of her to block the shots. I looked up some of the key words on these pages. The book is called Show Me Science, and it may have saved her life. That woman tonight is in stable condition at Harborview Medical Center. Live from Edmonds, Patrick Quinn. Como news. Tragic and incredible. All right. Thanks very much, Patrick. Police investigating a shooting in Seattle's Central District tonight. Several people heard shots fired. When it was all over, 10 shell casings were collected. Officers also found an abandoned red Camaro convertible, and they believe that it was involved in the incident. Witnesses say the driver fled after hitting more than 10 parked cars. A canine officer and police helicopter tried to track those suspects, but no luck. If you have any information, police do want you to call 911. Another a police investigation unfolding tonight. This one an effort where police are trying to figure out what killed a man there. The body was found in a wooded area off of 41st Street. This was last night. Everett police are calling his death suspicious. The medical examiner working right now to determine the cause of his death. Police are not yet releasing any information about his identity. A small afternoon 